for the Brotherhood. I've had worse. For the Brotherhood! Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you? Ah, oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little Peden she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. Good. Meet me on the second level, and I'll explain what needs to be done. What's this? Did you do these repairs? Not bad. Not bad at all. Saves me time, I guess. See you upstairs. Good, you're here. Ready to begin? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's one problem, though. 
The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I need you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignite it. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. I set the gas to pump into the fifth level since that's where the concentration of spores was highest. I'd start looking there. Typically, these vaults use circular vents in their air circulation systems. Look for a wall with two of them almost side by side. There's one just around the corner outside this lab if you need an example. In the area where the gas is active, any kind of fire or explosion should do the trick. Hell, even lasers would do the job. If you don't have anything like that, I've got some grenades in my bag in the corner that you can use. Yes, there'll be an explosion when the gas is ignited, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Now leave me to my work. Good. Return to me when it's done. What I miss? Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments and... It's done. We can rest easy. I've unlocked the door so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well.
don't mind me. I have to wrap things up here, gather my gear, that sort of thing. I'll be leaving soon enough. Hello. Keeley just called in. You should have heard the director. But I... Wait a... Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. Hello. I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. It seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Destroyed. Really. I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. We? We? You were a part of this? After we made an explicit agreement, you have the fucking goal to destroy priceless scientific data? The authorities are going to hear about this. They're going to know your name. They're going to know your goddamn face. Now get out of this office. Get out. What are you doing in my office? You're not welcome here. Get out. Oh, good to see you again. Right, good luck.
What's up? What are your thoughts? They defended Helios like it was their last stand. Didn't even know if there was anything worth defending. How could there be, with all we lost? Even if it did work, it'd be under NCR control now. So it'd either prove our goals are wrong, or we're incapable of pursuing them. There's a pawn shop in Outer Vegas we could check, and I've heard of a gift shop in the Strip that deals in pre-war antiques. I like the way you think. I'm usually good with faces, but I don't think I've seen you here before. What brings you to Camp McCarran? Could be better, I'll say that much. We set up here with our sights set on annexing New Vegas. That's a lot of resources that could do a lot of good for us. But that hasn't happened. If anything, they annexed us. They rake in the profits from our soldiers and we're stuck protecting them from the Legion. Not exactly the plan. Now we're trying to secure the Strip and the Dam at the same time, and it's costing us. And in the meantime, General Oliver won't approve any offensive maneuvers because he doesn't want to risk losing our positions. So we're in a holding pattern here. And Caesar's on the other side of the river, planning. It's our main base. We took it because it lets us keep an eye on the Strip, and it had already been fortified before the Great War. From here, we handle most of the logistics for our operations in Nevada, troop allocation, supply distribution, intel. Usually, General Oliver runs the show here, but he's on his way to the dam now, so I've taken on a lot of his duties here. Unfortunately, no. In fact, the word from the ranger stations has been especially concerning lately. Sounds like they've run into overwhelming resistance, and supplies just aren't reaching them. It's been so bad, I asked Sergeant Reyes at Camp Forlorn hope to look into it, and see how it is that things could be so fouled up there. Calm is what you have to be when people look to you, and it's all you can be when things are out of your hands. There are a lot of things I can't spare troops for right now. If you can help us, we can definitely pay you for your work. Hmm. You don't cook by any chance, do you? Farber's doing his best, but it's hard to manage an army with half my staff in line for the latrine. Honestly, we're fighting a lot of fires right now. The fiends keep pressing their position from Vault 3. We've got the Legion breathing down our necks across the river. We actually took an officer alive last week, but so far he hasn't spoken a word. Yeah. On top of everything else, I can't send a patrol on a bathroom break without it being ambushed by someone who heard they were coming. So somebody's getting the word out. Hmm. Well, why not? Given your recent arrival, at least I can safely rule you out as the leak. I'd like to have absolute trust in my men, but that's just not practical right now. Go ahead and look into it. See what you find. We don't have much to go on right now. Lately, every raiding party in New Vegas seems to have a map of our troop movements. It derails everything. Supplies, reinforcements. And it'll only get worse the longer we let it go on. Captain Curtis is heading up the investigation right now. He can fill you in. Bye.
Nice to meet you. I'm Curtis. Smart man. I could use somebody who can operate under the radar around here. Whoever our mole is, he's been slippery. Whenever one of the MPs gets too close, he changes his habits. Our last lead went cold weeks ago. You want my advice? Start by talking to people with a lot of eyes in the field. People like Lieutenant Boyd or Sergeant Contreras, maybe. Careful with Contreras, though. He's not above suspicion himself. Keep me apprised of any leads you get. This guy's gotten a lot of my men killed. I'm just itching to return the favor. Officially, I'm in charge of Bravo Company. But since General Oliver has Bravo and most of our forces here garrisoned, I'm free to do other things. So I work with Colonel Shu on logistics, patrols, supply lines, reinforcements, that sort of thing. Lately, it's been less about that, and more about figuring out how that information is getting leaked to raiders. It's a big base with a lot of unhappy soldiers. They get stir-crazy. Hard to separate the malcontents from the actual culprit. Later. Can I help you? Later.
It can be bought. It can be found at Mick and Ralph's. Wanna get lucky? Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler. of one of them strip families got killed right in his own casino. You know he pissed off the wrong guy. You don't strike me as someone down on their luck. What brings you to West Side? I help tend the crops, stand watch for fiends, and generally help keep things civilized. A couple of years now. I was a trader for a while, but got tired of all the walking. West Side was a good place to settle down as any. Uh huh. There was some kind of massacre at one of the ranger stations. I don't know which one. If you're down on your luck and need some caps, I buy just about anything. Of course, I've also got plenty of things for sale, too. My grandfather opened up this shop. Took over from him when the fiends killed him. Antique rangefinder. Trying to think of something that'd be more worthless. Maybe an antique horoscope. Or an antique sandwich. I'll tell you something. 
Good luck finding that thing. But if you do find it, don't waste your time trying to sell it to me. my bone with Sibe. I have Bogo. Thebes are rope. Goodbye. Oh, hi again. Marshal Fabis. Mm -hmm. I have Bogo Bow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Welcome to Casa Madrid. Cheapest, cleanest whores in all New Vegas. If you want to know the rates for Poon, talk to the whores. Yep, for years now. Guess I should be calling it Casa Marco or something. But I haven't changed the signs. <laughs> Folks who can't pay their way onto the strip need a place to stay too. And when pretty Sarah set her whores up here, the casa went full service. Like who? All right, then. Catch you later, then. Watch out for feet. Higher grad. Mesho Fabish. My pleasure is on my. Goodbye. Hi there. Welcome to the Westside Co-op. I'm Clayton Etienne. Let me know if you have any questions. It might not look like much, but it's what keeps us Westside locals independent. We started it a few years ago. I admit we had a lot of trouble at first, but eventually we got some help from Tom Anderson with the followers. We're finally to the point where the co-op members can start making money from sales instead of just breaking even. Well, I've lived in Nevada all my life. Started out in New Reno, but headed down here as soon as I got the chance. If you can believe it, things are even worse back home. The whole city's still run by crime families. It used to be the Mordinos and Wrights. Now it's the Wrights and Van Graffs. Seems like things never got better. Anyway, that's all behind me now. See you later. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Finally, I had to let her out. What? A ghoul goes to a doctor and says, Doctor, doctor, I have this horrible rash. The doctor says, son, that's called your face. Ding dong. Hey, what about that suit Benny wear? Hey, come on, lady. I'm trying to put on a show here. All right, then make it snappy, kid. This isn't exactly a lucrative career enterprise here. If you believe my mother since she first laid eyes on me, first thing she said was, boy, that's a funny looking kid. I guess I got a face only a mother could love because no one else would give me the time of day. Hey, maybe you can help me. See, I can never tell when it's lunchtime. It breaks better than a shot. Less chance of lead poisoning. Hey, if you know any gigs hiring, I'll work cheap, real cheap. I'll take peanuts. I'll take the shells. The name's Knight, Billy Knight. And this here's what a lifelong career in comedy will get you. Oi. 
That's exactly my point, kid. Exactly my point! Sure, later. Self-control is a virtue. Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. Hi, I'm Sarah at Sarah Weintraub. Welcome to the finest vault hotel in the whole world. No, silly, of course it wasn't always a hotel. I grew up in it. I love it. My favorite place in the world. Not that I know much of the world. I never left this place, come to think of it. But it is the most special vault ever. My vault is pure New Vegas. Everyone has a chance, and Lady Luck smiles if you play your odds right. Okay, it was like that before we had to leave. Vault 21 had very smart ways to help people get along. All arguments and fights got solved through gambling. I'll give you a quick tour of my home. Oh yeah, if you like. Rightio, daddy-o. Let's do it. Please follow me. We'll head into the vault right away. Hey. Bunker protects the entrance to the vault, solid stone outside and thick steel on the inside.
Above us, there's the control center for this level of the vault's life support systems, electric grid, radioactive shields, and all that jazz. Don't get lost. My vault has many corridors and rooms, although it is no longer symmetrical after Mr. House threw us out. Hey. Hey. This is the main game hall. Here we settled the big disputes among the vault's levels. Chosen representatives gambled against each other here. The winner earned the right to settle the dispute as wished by the collective. We used to have such parties in this diner. A bitch to clean later, but well worth it. room on our left, but no snooping next door. That's my room. Always was. Down there is the game room. Each side of the vault had one, but the other is filled with concrete now. Okay, that wraps it up. I'll see you soon. Hey. Good to see you again. I have all sorts of things. Vault souvenirs, vault wares, vault machines, vault mementos, and vault suits. And, well, lots of other vault things, too. Wow, I wish I had more of them. All this interest to be my biggest seller. I sold it to a man not too long ago. Real twitchy, nervous sort of guy. Kind of seemed like he was wigging out about something. Had a funny collar on. I wanted to ask him about it, but I figured maybe I'd regret asking. People are weird around here. No, but I know where he was going. He asked me if I knew of any place where he could hide out for a while. Wanted somewhere with concrete walls. Something about airwaves. I forget. But I guess he spent all his money on the rangefinder because he said it had to be somewhere free to stay. I said I didn't know about anything like that around here, but if he wanted to live for free, a lot of people do that in Freeside. I know there's a concrete building there across from Mick and Ralph's. No ceiling, but I think it still counts. Went up there one time to try and, you know, meet my neighbors in the biz. But, you know, I don't think they took me very seriously. Oh, he was pretty average, I'd say. Average height, average age, dark hair, beard of some kind. Well, it was metal and kind of thick. At first I thought he'd come from Gomorrah, but they're more into leather there. Didn't look comfortable. He kept reaching up like he was gonna itch it, but he always stopped himself. Okay. Anything else I can do for you? Well, it is my vault, all right. I mean, yeah. That is, no. I take care of it, but I suppose you could say that it belongs to Mr. House. Mr. House has everything to do with Vault 21. He tried to get us out before he filled it with concrete. I almost went ape. So we convinced him. Okay, Sheldon and I, right? We convinced him to leave the top level mostly intact. I don't know. Maybe he didn't want anybody sneaking around down there. My vault runs deep and wide. It's filled with corridors and rooms that go far. What gives him the right to screw us with the royal shaft anyway? So he saved New Vegas. Woohoo! Now scram and let us go on with our lives. Sheesh. I see. Okay, your move. 
Yeah, and you gotta dig what I did with it. Looking as good as it should? Almost. It was bustling with activity. We all knew each other so well. You see, the vault kept us all even. It's all symmetry and windows down there. We solved any quarrels through gambling. Lady Luck cast no eyeballs, you know? So, nobody shafted anyone else. Yeah, I miss those days. Mitch? You mean Molebutt? I hadn't thought about that name in a long time. I was just a child and he had a big mole in his rear bumper. You understand, kids and all that. Everyone knows about each other in a vault. There's no other way. I hope Mole, I mean, Mitch, is doing well. Sure, the place is packed, usually. We get loads of NCR cubes these days, a stray Brahmin Baron once in a while, and recently circle couples shining big rocks on their fingers. Okay, how can I help you? I see. Okay, your move. Sure I have. I made the scene in the strip. It's just that I really like it here. Vault 21 is a kick. Okay, you're right. I hate going outside. It's almost impossible for me to step out of here. Still, I love my vault. It's my pad. Okay, see you soon. I don't like the sound of this. Hope that color isn't what I think it is. What did you do, Elijah? What's up? See you around. Hey, Scram, come bug me when I'm at the diner. You're a real pain in the ass. Good riddance. 